So today we're going to make a round system in Roblox Studio. So if you've played, you know, Murder Mystery 2 or something, or or Arsenal or any round based game, uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so in order to make a round system or a round based game on Roblox, uh, let's start off with uh, some values. So let's go to replicate storage and insert first a string value. And this will be our status. Okay, this will be this will be our this will be our status. Okay, and another bool value this time a bool value, and this will be our uh, our in round. So this will detect when a round has started or when a round has ended. Okay. Okay, and a start and our status. This is like this will appear in our game. And I'll, and I'll show how many like seconds left until a game has ended or how many seconds or how many seconds left until a game will start or how many seconds left until a game uh, will end. All right. So we have these two uh, values. We can now start on our script. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. It's not uh, very like our fundamental script is pretty uh, should be pretty easy if you understand what you're doing. First, let's start with some variables. Intermission. Inter. Intermission. Okay, I don't know how to spell. This is how many. Okay, let's make this ten seconds uh, for now for test purposes. And local uh, local round length, right? Because this is how uh, long our round would be. So let's make this fifteen seconds. Okay. So this is how many seconds our you know things are. Then we can make variables for our values. So local in round equals game dot replicate storage dot in round. This is our value. And our other value, status, local status equals game dot replicate storage dot status. Okay, I think we can, sh we, can we can now start on our uh, function. This is we uh, yeah, we make a function, right? We make a function local function all right round let's just call it round okay enter and an end will appear an end okay next do a while true do loop while true yeah I'm, I'm typing so fast it's like I'm making so many typos anyways uh, okay let's see here while true do now when a game has started when a server has started like for example when a when someone joins he will first start in the lobby, right? So the round uh, hasn't started yet. So in round would be false. In round that value, sorry, that value equals false. Make sure you get that correct. And okay, well to do. And then when you, when you want to count down from like ten seconds, which is our intermission length, to zero until the round has uh, will start, we can do a for i loop. For i equal intermission, which is ten. Zero, which is when it will end the countdown, and negative one, which how much it goes up by. But since it's going down, we do negative one. Do. All right, do. And then we do wait one because we want it to wait one every time it goes down by one. And then we change the status. So basically, if you don't understand this, this is is a for I loop that goes down by uh, goes goes up. I mean, it's go down. It goes down, but whatever. It, by so it's, it goes from intermission to zero and by negative one. Well, you essentially have to do negative one since it's zero is less than ten. But this is our for i loop, and this is basically what what it does is it, ca it counts down to zero. All right. So every time it counts down, we want our status to change. So status equals our status at value again. Okay, I made that mistake again. Uh, it doesn't matter. Game will start in. Okay, two dots, I, another two dots, seconds. So what this says is game will start and end. Dot dot I means how many seconds left. So I is the amount of seconds. So 10, 9, 8, right, until zero uh, seconds left. So this is what will appear on the screen and we're gonna we're gonna make a GUI for this uh, later. Uh, I think that's it, right? All right, so when this ends, uh, at that point, the round will have started. So we'll do round or in round, in round dot value equals true. So that means the in round would uh, a round has started and in round value would be true. 
which means uh, round has started. Okay, so we can copy this exact uh, countdown or this for I loop, and this will count down instead of uh, said when the players are in the lobby, the players are in the round, and will count down uh, when uh, or count down until the round has ended. So we'll do instead replace this with round length, and instead uh, the game will start. We'll do game will end. Okay, it's the same exact thing. We just have to change a few stuff here and there. And essentially, we've done the fundamental script function right here. Uh, we can make a what's it called a text label. You know, let's do that later. Let's do that later. Okay. But the text label will be for our status, by the way, so people can see how many seconds left, uh, etc. Okay, we can then make a change event for our in round. So in round. Dot change connect. So whenever uh, whenever whenever in round, the value in round has changed, meaning whenever it started or whenever it has ended. Okay. Make a function. Connect this to a function. All right. Let's make some space here. So if in round the value if round if in round that value equals true equals true meaning when a round has just, has just started right okay then else okay well, this is for this is our else so if if in round that value equals true then we'll put whatever we want in here and else if in round that value equals false so if it's true we do whatever we have there and then else, uh, if it's false, of course, because that's the only other exception. Uh, well, if it's false, that means the round has ended. So we'll teleport all the players to the lobby. And if in round that value is true, that means when the round has just started, we'll teleport everyone to the map or whatever, or whatever you want them uh, to teleport to. All right. So how can you teleport the players? We do 4i player in pairs. Player. Uh, no, I play what I want to do. Game dot players, uh, get players, get children, get players. Same thing. I think, right? Oh, oh, sorry. What the hell? It's okay. What? Oh, wrong, wrong. Don't do that. What the hell did I just do? Okay. Okay. Uh, now you got this. Now what this does is it gets all the players in the game, and it puts them in a table and it loops through them. So when it loops through, you want to, you want each player to teleport to uh, the map, to the to the round. All right. So you'll do uh, first. Let's make some variables. Local. Oops. Local. Um, hmm. Car equals player dot character. The character of the player. Then we'll do human human root, which is human root part equals car wait for child wait for child humanoid root parts and this is what we'll be using to teleport the player all we have to do is basically change the c-frame of it and uh, it's not very hard to do very simple do human root dot c-frame equals oh wait hold on so in order to teleport them first you need like a position but instead of doing that you can just uh, make a part so we can uh, essentially make a spawn so this is our base plate let's say this is a lobby okay let's unlock this okay so this is a lobby right and we can make another one for the map so let's say this is the map right here okay this is the map this is the map or i mean what you can do Okay, you know what? Forget about this. Let's make a part, and this will be our spawn. Okay, let's say this is the spawn for a lobby. Lobby spawn. Lobby spawn. Okay, we'll make another one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, first of all, let's make this can collide to false anchored. All right, and for the sake of it, let's make a bit transparent, just a bit. Okay, we duplicate this and make another one for uh, the map, a spawn map. Or a, ma a map spawn, I should say. Uh, okay. Map spawn. All right. Now, oh, what the hell did I just? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Anyways, and now we've done that. We'll do human root. That C frame. Now C frame is just like a position, basically, uh, position value, equals uh, when so when round has started. 
will teleport them to the map spawn equals game oh sorry 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 game dot workspace dot map spawn dot c frame so essentially what this is doing it's changing the human root which is part of the character and which is part of the player it's changing their position to the position of the spawn so it's teleporting them essentially you just want to copy this hold a second uh copy yeah copy this and do the same thing when the round has ended and you want to teleport everyone to the lobby instead of the map or wherever you want them to teleport to so this changes to lobby okay hold on uh lobby spawn all right lobby spawn lobby spawn wait hold on uh i think yeah okay i spelled it correctly all right all right so i think everyone everything here is good to go okay let's just organize this okay forget about this um yeah i think this is good to go now all we need left is the screen gui or the text label uh, on the screen so i go to starter gui screen gui and insert screen gui under starter gui text label under screen gui all right uh make the scale so one point one Okay, uh, that's that's fine. That's fine with me, to be honest. Background transparency. Text scaled. Okay, let's change this to bangers because bangers, man. Okay. Text group transparency. Let's change this. Okay. And then we can do. Ta okay. All right. Now we insert a local script. So local. Okay, sorry. Oh wait, hold on. Did I do something wrong? Okay. Local text equals script dot parent. So text. So text. So uh, text is the text label right here. Script dot parent. So text dot text. The so text of the text label. I guess you could say equals game dot replicated storage the status dot value. So whatever is in the status value or the value of the status will be replicated to the text right here and it will appear on the screen for every player all right but it won't stay like that though because it will change so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a connect fun uh, a change event so game dot replicated storage dot status dot dot changed no nope, change change connect so this is a changed event connect this connect this to a function all right so we have this and we'll just duplicate this inside this function so whenever the status changes the text will also change otherwise it will just stay like this since the script only runs once so you want a uh, you know a continuous function right here so it changes every time uh each second passes all right shall we test this out let's see if this works let's see if this doesn't work oh hold on that looks like it doesn't work go oh, hold on a minute the script dot parent text dot text that value game that works chain connect uh, hold on a minute looks like something went wrong here okay uh oh and when you make the function sorry uh, okay, I got everything right here. Uh, of course, you want to spawn the function. Not spawn the well. Usually, if you want, since we have a look like, another uh, function right here. Well, it's an event, but uh, you have to run the function. Spawn round. So what this does is basically it runs the function that we just made. All right, you can just do round and then it'll work. But since we have uh, another function right here. We have two functions. It probably won't work. All right, let's start it. All right, it works now. So let's see if it will teleport us or not. Okay. All right, it teleports us. So uh, that's it, really. It's pretty simple. 
Uh, well, actually, very simple, to be honest. I mean, if you get used to it, it's definitely more simple. But I hope you understand everything. If not, well, uh, I guess you just repeat the video, I guess. Yeah, I think it just teleported us, did it? Hold a second. Uh, yeah, it's teleported, didn't it? All right. But of course, this is the most, this is, uh, the most like fundamental uh, tutorial of this type of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things you want to add to this. Uh, but usually you you probably would figure out yourself like for example how can you make the round uh, end when everyone dies or something or how to make the round end when there's a winner um, it isn't really hard to make uh, like a addition to that um, but if you want if you want me to make a part two then sure man I, I'll make a part two just like the video man just like the video and subscribe and I'll make a part two so I hope you enjoyed and we will be jumping off a cliff before oh wow that's kind of cool <laughs> <laughs>